It is, in fact, salt. And very interesting stuff, Dean. Isn't it? Mm. Mm. Grab that tube and I'll show you. Mm -hmm. All right, now that's uh, a glass tube, so we can yes. all see what's happening. Here's a tissue, very weak thing, a tissue. Shove it over the end and trap it with a rubber band. Stretch tightly? Indeed. Okay. Make it all the weaker. Okay. One, oh. two, three turns of the rubber band. Okay. How's that? Good. Wouldn't take much to go through that, would it? Not much at all. Do you think the weight of salt dropping on it would um, go through? Well, dropping from that height, I'd say there's a good chance that it well, would go let's, through. Uh, let's let's see. see. It's pretty weak stuff, tissue. Let's try. Thump, thump, thump. Did it go through? No, no. no. It, it's holding the salt. Taking up in fact, the... we now have about a third of a tube of oh, salt. Oh, well, let's put a bit more in and see if oh, the weight oh, will go through. We're at great risk now because there's Must more be and more weight pressing down on the tissue. No, that's amazing. It's, it's still holding. OK, well, we'll have to do something more drastic. Grab that stick yes. and thump the salt on the top and push it through. Push it yeah. from here. Grab hard it through. Hard as I like. So it spills on the table. All right. One, two, three. Again? Didn't come through. One, All two, three. through. <laughs> Some, that's crazy. <laughs> it won't go down. Indeed it won't. Just stop and I'll show you something. If I take that off, hold the tube up. Yes. If I take that off and tap it a bit, yes. all that salt spills out until we get to with about two or three centimetres of where you were. And that's jammed in. It is jammed in. Now it won't be because there's no salt underneath it. But it's very funny stuff. When you hit the salt grains, the grains all pack and spread the load so that the force goes out sideways and jam in sideways and they don't transmit it any further than about there. So the tissue is absolutely safe. It's a very peculiar property and not just of salt. Lots of things in granular form do it. Sand does, which is why people use sandbags if there's a danger of an explosion. Say a bomb goes off and fragments are flying everywhere. If they hit the sandbag, they'll pack those granules and spread the force sideways, not through it. If you're sheltering behind the sandbag, the chances are you'll be safe. I want to know. Curiosity